don't move here just because it's cheaper than where you're from. You have to love the culture and the people. Try to integrate yourself into the Mexican culture and way of life. Try to learn Spanish and don't complain about the food being too spicy. Lastly, be respectful. Hi from Mexico City, this is Liana. You probably clicked on this video because you are looking to move to Mexico City or your apartment searching in Mexico City. This video is gonna be helpful for you because I have tips and tricks and things to avoid doing when you're looking for apartments. So if you watched my video about 10 steps to move to Mexico City, and if you haven't, I'll link it right here. I mentioned one major tip, which is to download WhatsApp onto your phone because everybody uses WhatsApp here, especially when you're looking for apartments. You're gonna see for rent signs and it's gonna the number that they have is gonna be a WhatsApp number. That's how everybody communicates and makes their phone calls through the WhatsApp app. And you're gonna need WhatsApp to contact anyone as far as landlords and to call anyone regarding apartment searching um, to get in contact with landlords texting them, calling them, and they used WhatsApp to send pictures of the apartment, to set up dates and times to meet for showings. So definitely download WhatsApp. And another one of my tips is to get a SIM card or change your number to a Mexican phone number. And I also mentioned in that video different carriers that you can go through to do that. It's very cost effective and beneficial for you to do that. Another thing that I would say to do is to find an Airbnb and book it for at least a month before you commit to where you want to live. That's what we did and it really helped us decide which neighborhood we wanted to live in. And while you're staying at your Airbnb, take that time to walk around and visit different neighborhoods and see what place you vibe with more. If you like the energy of Condesa or Roma or Polanco or Navarte. And something that saved us a lot of time on going to look at apartments and calling people was walking around and looking at the neighborhood. So if you see an apartment online that you really like, before you call them or before you schedule a meetup to go look at it in person, go to the neighborhood that it's in and the street and walk around. And if you don't like the neighborhood or you don't like the street that it's on, whether it's too loud or it's on a busy road, then don't even bother going to the, to the showing. Another thing that I would say is to keep an eye out for for rent signs. You'll see them in the windows or on the buildings and it'll have a number and just take pictures of the signs of the places that you like and you can WhatsApp them and get pictures of the inside of the apartment. And the signs are gonna say Se Renta on them, which means for rent. Um, and then the signs that say Venta are the ones that mean they're for sale. The websites that helped us browse and look for apartments was Inmuebles24.com and um, they also list some on Facebook Marketplace. I'll list some more in the bio below. If you can't speak Spanish or you don't speak Spanish very well, find a friend that does because that will help you communicate with the landlord if they can't speak English. And I think that also will help you from getting overcharged because I think that that happens often with people if they can't communicate in the language and they might end up getting overcharged. So if you can't speak Spanish or you don't have a friend that speaks Spanish, then I would suggest getting in touch with a realtor that can help you with that. That way they can do all the communication for you 
and help you when it comes time to sign a contract and look over all the the legal work in the in the contracts so definitely if you can't speak spanish make sure you have a friend or you hire a realtor to help you There's many more beautiful places than just Condesa, Roma, and Polanco. I love Narvarte, Del Valle, Juarez, and Centro. So do your research and visit the colonias to find out what neighborhood fits you best. If you're thinking about moving here, do your research on the market in the barrio you want to live. Look at the different prices so you know what the average amount is that you should be paying. Don't be that person that comes over here and pays $1,800 USD a month to live in a nice area just because you can. In reality, you should not have to pay that much money for an apartment. There are many people here that can't afford to pay that price and just because you can afford to pay it doesn't mean you should. It's just not necessary. In doing things like this, this causes the speeding up of gentrification and pushes out people who pay 500 USD a month and can't afford to pay anything more. They have a right to be in these neighborhoods just as much as anyone else, so be respectful. Mexican people are the reason why we love this place so much. My husband and I live in Roma on the border of Doctores and pay 700 USD a month. And we don't want to pay anything more than that because we don't want to contribute to the crazy pricing that tourism brings. And that is ultimately pushing people out of these neighborhoods. That being said, I know gentrification is inevitable and housing prices are rising everywhere, but we can be responsible and try our best to slow that process as much as possible. <laughs>